Hey, 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 welcome back to another episode of Weapons Cave. This is your host, The Weapon X Jamie. Hello, hello, hello out there all in YouTube land and all of the modelers out there in the model building community, boys and girls, and even little children at that. Yay! Our, um, like I said, my next, I'm just going to be kind of quick because we're going to, going to be a two-parter. Um, like I said, uh, the next, like I said in the last episode of Weapons Cave, I think I'm going to get really used to saying that. It's pretty catchy. Um, we were going to uh, go ahead and do the um, thinning of the um, uh, fingernail polish with the lacquer thinner uh, to go ahead and get that bad boy thinned out so we can go ahead and get the 1968 El Camino rebuild. Go ahead and get started on that and get the body, uh, excuse me, get the body um, painted. And uh, uh, that's exactly where we're at. Went ahead, went to Walmart, grabbed a couple of things. That was one of the things on the list that I grabbed. But I'll be showing you guys all the pretty little toys that I got from Walmart and Harbor Freight with a few coupons. Yes. You know when you go to Harbor Freight, you can't help but buy a bunch of stuff because things in there are at a very economical price. And with the coupons, 70% and 20% off, it's just, you got to spend something in there. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys... Um, the area to where I have things set up. I'll be right back. Welcome back, welcome back. We're back again from the little small break. Um, this is the area to where I have set up <laughs> right here in the front porch of my little apartment here um, to where we're going to go ahead and get um, started on thinning this enamel in the thinner. Lacquer thinner, like I said, I wouldn't purchase. And there's my rubber brush. There's the little bottle that I'm going to plan on using. And the um, Go Go Girl fingernail polish. And there's my pretty, pretty little air compressor. There's the uh, El Camino right here. And here is the hood that we also will be doing. And just to give you guys a nice little, here's the area. Look at that. Ooh, -wee, ooh, -wee, nice and pretty. And it looked like it's going to probably start raining here. So I got to go ahead and get to work. And, like I said, this is just why I wanted to show you the area, and we are going to go ahead and get started on the airbrushing of the fingernail polish stuff. <laughs> I'll be back. Peace. Uh, we're back, and uh, yes, this is exactly what we're looking at here. As you can see, the color in the room is, you know, decent color. Sorry about the blur, but you know about this focusing thing. But our, um... This is what the texture looks like after I finished. Holy snap! After I um, airbrushed it with the thinner. Oh lord, with the lacquer thinner. Um, I thinned the, uh, the airbrush. The, the, blah, 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 blah. Well, you guys saw everything that I, you know, all uh, everything that I got, and um, you know, thinned it out, put an airbrush. Um, sprayed it and uh, uh this is the texture of what it came out i'm pretty sure of course i'm going to be told you know of course it never comes out smooth but i'm wondering did i do this right after this do i need to just go ahead let it dry let it cure then sand then do some more or did i absolutely do something horribly horribly wrong please please let me know um the the faster the better, um, the quicker, so I'll know what to do because I really want to get started. Or I may just wait and experiment more with some other styrene before I actually start to say I'm going to use this for sure. But um, in all honesty, I was, you know, I really wanted to see how this would come out as far as using, um, as far as using um, nail polish remover and. Um, I mean fingernail polish and um, this is what it looks like but I really do like the color it's like a freaking you see how weird looking that is like a like a like a like a like a uh, uh, ultraviolet type color you know like fluorescent type color but I but like actually seeing it in person it's a really dark red type color I kind of like it but um like I said 
just to uh, let me know. Um, we'll be back. I'm going to go ahead and pause again. We're going to go to another clip, and we're going to um, look at the progress of the 2010 um, Dave Parker tribute build Camaro. Be right back. Peace. Hey guys, welcome back one more time again. Uh, thanks for holding for the quick little pause. What I decided to do is uh, we went ahead and we completely put the uh, hood that we were working on a minute ago in the purple power and we just went ahead and scraped it clean. We're going to start off from scratch and go with acrylic until we decide to um, get a better handle on the, or, um, on the polish. So what we're going to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little airbrush tutorial on how I airbrush and um, of course I got my uh, color here we are still working with the um, the candy scarlet here by well shit can't see it <laughs> here by um, you know models map model master acrylic um, of course um, I already got it thinned out a little bit here with some acrylic and some water you know of course get it uh, to a consistency of milk basically when it drips like water that's how I do it um, go ahead and got my airbrush already um, this is central plumatic hmm. deluxe airbrush kit okay cool alright she's all ready to go and we're just gonna do a nice little quick little airbrush little click I guess oh yeah look at that oh yeah okay like I said we're gonna go ahead and do the hood first and foremost And this right here is the uh, third coat of the acrylic um, of after uh, scripting this one down. And now I'll be scripting this one in the front fascica. Just want to kind of get that a little bit a little deeper there in the corner see see how, looks, how she looks now a little bit that's what I love about airbrush not everybody feels the same way nice and solid color you know what I mean really really nice to look at after you're done um, that's the first coat of that one and we're gonna go ahead and do the front bumper or fascica which some people call One good thing to work about with airbrush, airbrush gun is I like is that you can go a little bit closer without completely ruining your uh, your kit or whatever piece that you're working on, be it a body or um, you know other small pieces or larger pieces for that matter. That's one thing I really like about airbrush guns. And then you know the double action, you know you can set your um, you know you can set your uh, your width or your spray or whatever, you know, how much pressure you're putting on there, that's, I really like it a lot. But I uh, like every, you know, like everybody knows, you know, keep it moving, you know, don't stay in one spot too long, you know, left to right, right to left, you know. Alright, and we're also going to do the um, the uh, the rearview mirrors right right here right quick. We're gonna go ahead and throw a quick little coat on those as well. Of course those won't take much. Kind of fight me a little bit, but it's all good. I'm pretty sure they'll you know come out the way that I want after a while here. Well not after a while, but they'll start, you know. I'll start producing the look that I want, that solid look, because these you know, river years was giving me a little bit of hell there at first, but you know, I just did a little quick little sanding down just a second ago and um Yep. Looks like it's gonna come out pretty damn okay. I don't know, I think it might have been some unevenness on the um on the actual um on the surface that I really couldn't see offhand. 
uh, hanging these up right quick on my little hanging section here on the lamp. I'm going to go ahead and do another coat on the hood just to get it because this is going to be the last uh, base coat. I want to check and make sure you know your paint's still coming through. Well, that's what I do. I'm not saying no, you guys, that's what I do. I'm pretty sure it also does the same thing as well, but that's what I do. Pretty short, basic, common sense to tell you to continue to check and make sure your spree is coming through after you stop here for a second. And at the same time, either for the, either, either for the new people as well who, you know, are actually maybe, who may be watching this, which is cool within itself. Oh yeah, and that'll be it for her. One more go through. Okay, I gotta go ahead and get this here wrapped up because her um, paint's getting a little low and I don't really want to make any you know, do anymore. It's a good thing I got, I got this um, front facet that the last go around really, I put a nice little layer on that first go around so if it does run out on me, it'd be fine. I just want to make sure it doesn't do that spit pattern on me. But other than that, um, she's coming out pretty okay. It's going to be nice and smooth today because actually going through the whole process of stripping down and starting over, it, it kind of, it really helps a lot because it gives it, also gives it another extra real, real nice, smooth layer. You know what I mean? Because it's like you're stripping down and you're basically you know, sanding down all over again, which makes it mixing, makes the sanding even better. Oh, we lost pressure there for a second. I'm like, oh my God, what's wrong? Now the pressure build up here for a minute. All right. That'll do it for her. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Nice solid, solid look right there. Nice solid, even color. Texture's really smooth. Oh yeah, doesn't get any better than that. Well guys, um, that'll pretty much be it. Um, just for this little, um, little, um, airbrush clinic uh thanks for watching and uh we'll be right back peace all right all right back again from the pause thanks for holding up guys um but uh yeah that's where we're at um as far as dealing with the uh 1968 el camino build rebuild and the dave parker tribute build um we're gonna go ahead and, and let those pieces there cure or um dry out because like you said, you know, we just finished airbrushing those pieces and um, we didn't do anything with the body yet, but most likely we are going to go with that acrylic red. Um, the uh, huh, the hood to the El Camino is, still, is you know, soaking in the purple power. I'm probably going to take her out here in a minute and start wet sanding, but it is kind of late. It's like 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> and I did these uh, four clips in a matter of two days. I apologize for being a day behind. But, um, yeah, I kind of just didn't feel like doing anything else yesterday because I got a little discouraged and figured out what I was going to do and how I was going to do it. But I said, you know what? The show must go on. But anyway, um, that's where we're at as far as those builds are concerned. We're going to keep pushing on through. We're going to keep striving. We're going to get this done. But, mo but what we are going to do for sure, we're going to go ahead and go in acrylic color for the El Camino. Still keep it nice and vibrant and bright red. And uh, as, far as, that, as far as that's concerned, that's where we're at. And, of course, the uh, Dave Parker uh, body. She's still curing. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna let her sit for at least probably another three days. Let her cure. Let that bad boy get nice and gassed out. But only other thing that I want to do is show you guys what I did get from um, Walmart, which is you know no biggie. But I mean, I, I like you know showing what I bought. I did get the lacquer thinner. This is the lacquer thinner that I bought here. It's a um, one quart. Yep. I think that bad was like maybe like six dollars and some change, or maybe seven and some change. When I went to Harbor. Freight. What else did I get? Oh, oh yeah, of course. I went ahead and oh, got some more clear too. 
uh, some Krylon uh, Fusion Clear. I usually get, this is usually the kind that I get here, the acrylic, not the non-enamel, but they did not have any more, so I just went ahead and got the Fusion. Maybe it'll be better, I don't know. Oh dear Lordy Jesus Mary, sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus. <clears throat> and also, when we went to Harbor Freight, we went ahead and purchased this bad boy. Uh, a three inch, um, high speed, uh, air cutter. To, uh, I only bought this because I had a coupon for it. I have absolutely no idea what the hell I'm going to do with that thing. I don't know, but I just bought it just to buy it. Yeah. Um, uh, um but besides that, another thing that I did uh, purchase, I was going to get an actual drill bit set, but, um, I saw it and it was like all the it was like all the complete size to a, to the drill set. I was like, wait a minute, I don't need drills that are like actually that big in diameter. No, I need I actually wanted micro drills, micro uh, mic, uh, mini drills. So and I actually found some. Those bad boys are really really tiny. Some are you know regular size. You know I, I would say, well it is from one eighth shanks to one inch in diameter. Um, assortment of from uh, 32, 0.32 in diameter to 0.128 in, in diameter. So, yep, that's where, as far as that's concerned, and it's a 20 piece set, and I, that was only, uh, uh, shoot, I think that was like $3.99 or $5.99 with the 20% off coupon. I'm not sure, but anyway, it was real inexpensive. But anyway, um, those are the little things that I did buy while I was out. Uh, um, and besides that, guys, that's where we're at. No more. We didn't really do anything else too much. I'm going to start doing that. It's kind of not professional material to keep, you know, going in and out over there. Going in and out over there. See how junky it is? I still got poster boards that I haven't even used yet. <laughs> anyway, that's a whole other story. But anywho, yes, as you can see, everything's still sitting in the exact same place. Um, just because I didn't do anything with that, I was still working, as you guys seen. But once I get this color situate on this body then I'll know exactly what I'm gonna do with everything else but um the show is still moving on the show is still moving forward and we're still doing what we have to do to get this bad boy built once again uh, thanks for watching everybody please rate subscribe comment all comments are welcome I appreciate it thanks for stopping by the cave and checking out what we got going on here thanks for listening to me ramble and talk about everything from model building to um impersonations yeah but uh yeah had a good time here um see you guys on the next one uh rum i think that's about it remember uh keep the star reading alive and inspiration is a two-way street this is your local neighborhood good guy the uh, weapon x are uh, signing off until next time deuces up deuce line say two times peace out guys later